Hello, my beautiful fragrance family, Dustin here, fragrance fan. And before we get started, go ahead and do me a solid and click that like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell notification so you know every time I upload some new content. And for those of you who already support my channel, no doubt that you have noticed that my background has changed. And that's because my location has changed from a smaller shack to a much bigger, nicer shack. So in the near future, I'm hoping the studio will upgrade, no lags, better picture quality, all that good stuff. So thank you guys so much for supporting what I do because my goal is to continue to bring you guys these budget-friendly fragrance reviews. 40-ish and $100 range, most of them are gonna be a lot cheaper than that and a good chunk of these you can pick up at your local rack stores. The one I'm talking about today is both of those. Not commonly found in the wild, but you can spot it at the rack stores every now and then. Now I'm talking about the 2021 release, the Woody Aromatic of Aconables Riviera. Eau de Parfum Concentration 2, I love that. Because typically that means it's gonna last longer and maybe not be quite as bright and loud in the opening. Generally, not always true, but a little bit of texturization on the cap. It actually clicks into place pretty nice. Doesn't look or sound like it, but ooh. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty snug on there. Let's see, atomizer is decent. Nice mist, uh, squirts out a decent amount of juice. I really enjoy it. Um, so I'm gonna go over all the notes of this thing and let you know what I ultimately think about this fragrance. In the top, there's Italian Mandarin, incense, and grapefruit. In the heart, there's red apple, eucalyptus, and nutmeg. And in the base, there's guyac wood, white amber, patchouli, and leather. I'm wiping the bottle off because some of it somehow dripped on there. So this is a very, very citrusy, spicy, semi-sweet, layered type of a fragrance. So some of the opening here, right off rip, there's not a whole lot of that alcohol blast. Kudos to that, good job. A little bit there, but not so much. So this does have a fair amount of that bergamot, um, er, <coughs> grapefruit, sorry. There's, it's a grapefruit note and that Italian Mandarin. It's there, pretty strong and heavy. So is that spiciness. There's a good amount of spiciness in this fragrance and uh, a decent amount of sweetness. Got the dry down on this hand and that green apple really gives this thing a warm sweetness. That being said, this is just fine for the high heat. It works well in the high heat, just as well as in the cold. It's probably not gonna be super powerful in the very cold weather, but this has that kind of scent profile that just works no matter what. No matter what your age is, no matter what the occasion is, if, if it's the gym, if it's a suit and tie dinner, whatever it is, this is one of those kind of a blue fragrances in that Versace Dylan Blue, Dior Sauvage, Blue de Chanel type of a category. This could easily fit in that bracket. Performance is solid. I'll typically get about five and a half or six hours Projection is better than I expected. When I was fairly new to using this fragrance, I was thinking, wow, this isn't like super strong. So I kind of sprayed a little bit heavy, not crazy, but a little bit heavy. And uh, I was at church and somebody was like, what's that smell? It's really strong, whatever it is. And uh, it was me, you know, <laughs> it was the, the fragrance here. And I think it's that spiciness because this thing does have a fair amount of spiciness. And like I said, it's citrusy at first, and that citrusness, uh, citrusness, the, the citrusy smell kind of goes away, but it tapers off slowly. The green apple, or red apple, I'm all sorts of mistakes right now. The red apple continues to give it that warm sweetness, not overly sweet, and the, the guyac wood and the leather, the guyac wood kind of has a little bit of smokiness with that incense. It's just a lovely fragrance. And uh, overall, I can give it a 7 out of 10 because of everything. It's $20. Eau de Parfum, nice looking presentation. Compliment factors are definitely a high potential. Performance is solid, not overly synthetic. It just works. So that's my final thoughts on Faconable's Riviera. With that, I'm out. Y'all be blessed and take care of yourself always. Until next time.